And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, you know, back in 2003, that was the year of the flood. It was incredibly wet, historically wet during the summer. And we had another big flood around Labor Day weekend in 2003. The thing is, a late in the fall it dried out, and we had some of the warmest November weather ever recorded to start the month. Highs in the upper 70s and lower 80s. But then we cool off on the 10th back into the 30s. But these are the highs on November the 4th of 2003. 78 at Lafayette, Delphi, 79 at Chalmers and Logan's Four. Even had 80 at Crawfordsville and 81 at Covington. Now tonight it's crisp, cool, and damp. The high and mid level overcast slowly thinning with time, maybe uh, catch a ring around the moon as the moonlight is refracted by the ice crystals in those high clouds. And Precision 18 radar is all clear. The rain's pulled away, but again, these are high and mid clouds streaming up from the southwest, and very slowly they're going to pull away. Now, with all the low level moisture around, and the winds, I think, backing off, I won, for one thing, I've added some patchy fog to the forecast for the uh, late tonight, early morning hours. Also lower the temp of hair, 36, a little patchy frost, but with strong south and southwest winds up to 61 in the afternoon with mostly sunny skies. Windy the next seven days, a few showers Thursday, a few showers, even a few snow showers later Saturday and into Saturday night. And the roller coaster ride of clippers and uh, wide ranging temperatures will continue. You'll see that in the seven day. 36 tonight, Lafayette, Remington, 34, Winnemac, 38 at Crawfordsville and about 38 at Ladoga and Kingman as well. Tomorrow, anywhere from 56 at Morocco, upper 50s Delphi to Monticello to 61 at Lafayette, and about 61 degrees at Frankfurt and Kirkland. A little cooler Thursday, 48 Remington Fowler, 51 Lafayette, 53 at Thorntown, will be in the upper 40s at Star City and Rensselaer. There are the high clouds with us at 2.14 in the morning. Notice how they gradually thin out. This is about 6.30 in the morning. And by 10 o'clock in the morning, a lot of these are pulling away. Mostly sunny afternoon, but high clouds start to come back in by tomorrow evening. And by Thursday morning, a few spotty showers coming in. And for Thursday afternoon, notice what happens. As our clipper comes in, the winds crank up, and scattered showers come into the area. This is 136 Thursday afternoon. But then by Thursday evening, this pulls out of here. Rainfall totals should be fairly light, and we clear out. Here's the clipper train. There's one here, one out here. Notice how the deep moisture is getting shunted to the east. Now, what's that tell us? All these clippers won't have a lot of moisture. So we're not looking at big time rainfall, but a lot of wind and oscillations between the cold and mild air. Notice that in the seven day from the 61 tomorrow, the 51 Thursday, down to 44, then falling Saturday, 37 Sunday. And then we bounce back ahead of another clipper on Monday, a few showers Monday, back to 50, and highs in the low to mid 50s on Tuesday. So kind of back and forth on the temperature, a lot of wind, some showers, a few snow showers, but nothing heavy. This is all pretty scattered light preset, Dan Rowe. Okay, well, a little bit of turmoil in the weather yeah. department and certainly a lot of turmoil for 